I'm walking around, I'm a regular player, I'm enjoying this amazing, lovely experience, and then out of nowhere, oh, what's going on? I zoom out? Look at that. What is going on? What does this mean? Why is it executing terminal? What are those sounds? I need to go check my PC. Oh no, I need to leave the game. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video which uh, is currently at a million views, which is really crazy, um, where I basically made a fake Roblox kick message with the goal of like, you know, just scaring some kid. I don't know. Like, you know, if like they're playing a game and like a, a kick message pops up saying like, your device was logged off because you were hacked or something. And like, they're like, oh, I'm being hacked. Oh no. And obviously that's a fake message, right? But that video, especially with how successful it's been, got me thinking, what else could I do in this same style? Or like, what could I add to the game that makes players think that like something scary is happening? Because the kick message is funny, but it is inside of Roblox, right? Could I do anything? Like, is there any way for me to basically make the player think that like malware has been injected onto their computer or something? Or just give them the impression that something on their computer is being hacked? And you know those memes where like, like someone's doing something and then they see their terminal command, like, you know, the terminal window open for like a split second and then go away, which, you know, means that the terminal was running some malicious command and you know that's pretty scary what if i code in a function to roblox which does exactly that like what if i code in a feature that makes the terminal command appear for a split second maybe it like makes the player chat some cryptic messages and then maybe it also plays like you know the windows like error sound effect like do 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 or you know whatever it is basically my goal of this video is to see how well of a system i could code in and whether it can make the player believe that like their pc is actually being hacked or whatever like whether their their windows pc is actually making those sound effects and so for the first time ever i actually did a bit of preparation for this video which i understand is very unheard of what i did is i found this nice like terminal image online so if i just copy the asset id and then i just put it inside of this image label and then if i just stretch it out like this yeah there we go so now it looks like a fairly legit terminal window and I guess we could also add a aspect ratio constraint just so it looks, you know, like, like an actual window so it's not too stretched out. I guess let, let's do this one, sure. Yeah, and so the idea behind this is like we just put it somewhere around here and just keep it invisible the entire time. But then when we want to start tricking the player, we could just do something like this. Look at that. It's like a, it appeared, yeah, split second appearance. That's so fun. And then on top of that, we also need the windows sounds. And me being the kind man that I am, I already imported two sound effects into the game. I was gonna go with like the regular notification, but I found these sound effects. I don't know, I feel like I feel like that's just really malicious sounding. Because this meant this is like a USB connecting, right? So it's almost like something has connected to your computer. I don't know, it just like that that's the vibe that I get from this type of sound effect. And so what we could do, and I'm kinda stupid because I don't really need the sounds, I can just insert them into the game and I can insert this one as well. And then we can just uh, select both of them and then put them inside of sound service. And yeah, so look at this, right? Oh and then awesome. <laughs> so let's actually turn this into a real script because obviously we have the assets and everything but we can't really do anything with them without scripting it first. What I'll do is I'll just quickly make the variables for everything so for both sound effects and for the you know user interface and then once I'm done with that um, I mean it's, it's time to make the function right which I don't really have too much planned like I'm not too sure like what values I should use like you know for how long the user interface should stay on the screen or like you know, when I should be playing the sound or whatever, so that should, will be fun to figure out. Okay, so I made the variables for all of the assets that we have, and also just a variable for the player, because I'm not a big fan of just typing this all the time. And so now let's make the actual function, okay? So local function scare player, sure. And so here's what we're going to do, okay? I want the terminal window to pop up for maybe like 0.2 seconds or something, but I also want a sound to play right as it does that. So the moment that the terminal GUI pops up, I want this connect sound to play almost instantly, right? Now there is a small issue to doing that, but just first before we get into that, I just want to see if my 0.2 second estimate would look good, right? Like is 0.2 seconds too much? Or is it too quick? Like, I want it to be realistic, but I also don't want it to stay on the screen like too long, you know? So what I'll do is I'll say terminal GUI dot enabled is equal to true. We'll say task wait 0.2 seconds. And then uh, terminal GUI dot enabled is equal to false. And so what we could do is we could wait for, let's say one second, and then we could run the command, okay? So scare player. So whenever I join the game, okay, I mean, it's actually, 
It looks a little small, so let me actually make it a little bigger, like so. Maybe I'll just, I don't know, put it over here or something. Okay, yeah, no, so 0 0.2 seconds is a little too long. So let's do 0 0.1, and let me just disable it uh, real quick. And so if I play the game, let's see. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I do really like this because also we have to remember that like this isn't meant to be expected, right? This is meant to be completely un unexpected in some completely harmless random game. So imagine you're just playing like Pet Simulator or something, right? And then boom, that just appears just out of nowhere. And then you get like the doo -doo -doo sound effect. Now, a small issue here is that this connect uh, file is a little like delayed. Yeah, you hear that? Like it, it, it really only begins like around at this checkpoint, right? And so if I were to play the connect sound, so connect sound, play, and then, you know, we do our thing, then when it actually does happen... Or actually, I mean, I don't know, what is better? What, what do you think is better? Do you think, I mean, obviously, you're watching the video, you can't really speak, obviously, but like, but like, what sounds better? Like, should we, should it play right as the window pops up? Or like, should the window, like, do something and then the sound plays? Because honestly, I feel like having the sound play a little later actually works a lot better because it gives the illusion that like you know the terminal like did something in the background but then at the same time having the sound play right as the terminal bar appears does give it more of a threat like oh the terminal just did something right um i mean l let's see again you know what i am i actually do really like the way that it looks right now so i, I did say that this will be an issue but honestly i like it so it's gonna stay and then what we could do is we could wait for maybe, let's say, one second. And then I want to do a small loop where it plays the connect sound and then immediately plays the disconnect. So, doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. something like that. So look, let me show you what I mean, right? 4i uh, equals to 1, let's say 3, which basically just creates a loop that's going to run three times. I'll say connect sound uh, play. And I'm just going to wait for, I guess, let's say maybe 0 0.5 seconds. And then I'll say disconnect sound play. And then we're going to wait for the entire duration of the disconnect sound. So we're going to task dot wait disconnect sound uh, length or wait. How do we get it again? Pl time length. Amazing. Okay. So what should happen is let's see. Okay. All right. So let's actually make this one second. And instead of making this the time length of the disconnect sound, because that was a little too slow. How long is the disconnect sound? Let's see. It is 2.5 seconds. Okay, so I guess let's make it 1.5 seconds. I, I think that should be good. Let's just try this, right? I just want to see how this sounds. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. All right, so after a little bit of tweaking, I decided that the best time between sounds is 0.8 seconds. And that something that would be cool as well is to make this time randomized. So does the like do 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 right? But then the problem here is that when the time isn't randomized, so just, you know, for example, let's say the time is one second, it starts to have a pattern to it, right? And it becomes predictable. Like, like look at this, right? Like, you see how it's like very predictable, right? But if I do it my way, like this, what it's going to do now is it's going to be one second plus 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 because I'm dividing this by 10, right? So what this should do uh, is give it some randomness and make it actually seem legit. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, well, I mean, I guess it's okay enough. Maybe we could also make this like 0 0.8 or something or like 0 point even 6. Let's, let, let's just see how this sounds. Okay. Yeah, honestly. And then we could just make this loop instead of three times, we could say five times. Or honestly, not nah, like even maybe six times. I do think six is a good amount. And then the very last little feature that I want to add, and it's going to do its thing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, this effect also doesn't really work that well if you're on anything other than Windows. Like I'm on a MacBook right now, you know, so like the illusion is a little broken because I don't really get, you know, these sound effects. And unfortunately, there isn't a, like actually a way of knowing like what operating system you're on. Like whether like I can't tell if someone's on Windows or Mac OS or like on a phone or something. I do believe that most Roblox players on PC use Windows, so this should be fine. But what I was gonna say is, I want the player to have like a little ch like chat bubble appear above them that almost looks like some cryptic command. Like I don't know, dash dash cmd. I don't know, 32x run execute. Like I don't know, just something stupid like this i don't need, I, I don't even know what this does this probably does nothing right but like imagine that right this pops up on your head you know you see the little terminal 
Like, doo -doo 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 and the way we can do this is actually very simple. All we really need is just a player's head, okay? Which also means that we need to ensure that the player actually has a character. So what I'll do is I'll say if uh, not player dot character, then just return end, meaning just don't do anything. And then also I guess if not player dot character uh, head then return end, meaning that if the player doesn't have a head, then just don't do anything again. But if we do pass, it means that we have both a character and a head. And from there, all we have to do is we just need to say game, text, chat service, and then it's like bubble something, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, display bubble. Yeah, there we go. So it needs a part to display the bubble above, which will be the player character uh, dot head. And then it needs the actual message, right? Which I suppose is going to be the CMD... 32x run execute i don't know i'll probably end up changing this because this does look like this doesn't look like a real command but just for now let's just see how this looks okay and okay amazing and it's still going you know what while we're here let me actually uh add this over here as well so i also want to do a math at random i'll do 0 0.4 let's yeah let's let's just do it like this command 32x run execute okay there we go yeah it sounds a lot more random that's that's so nice and i probably will actually make it like uh one five just because i do feel like at this point it's actually happening a little too slow yep there we go command beautiful yeah there we go okay and so i tweaked the chat a little bit i think that looks better a little, it like you it kind of m makes more sense it's like one of those things you know like in hacker movies where like they show like something that's meant to be like code but it's like shown in a way for the average person to understand like oh no they're executing the terminal using the command like the average person can read this right like realistically it's not going to be exactly like this i understand but i do think that in the moment uh it shouldn't really register to people unless they're like very veteran coders that this is just nothing this this means nothing but the average roblox player i don't think is a veteran coder nor do i think are they too knowledgeable in exactly what a terminal line like this means so then what this now means is that you now have an entire function that you can run whenever you want so a fun thing that you could try is like maybe maybe there's like some part or something just i don't know for example right and then maybe the player, whenever he clicks on the part, so we can just say, so we can just say workspace, wait for child part, wait for child, click the texture, mouse click. We could just then connect that to our scare player function, like so. And it's going to give us the player who clicked. So we can also just say, you know, if the player who, so if player who clicked is not equal to our player, then return end, right? So what this is now going to do is now, you know, we're playing the game normally, everything's fine, but then let's say there's this one thing which the developer doesn't want us to do, right? Realistically, you probably want to use this when the player does something that you don't like. Like maybe they try to, I don't know, exploit something, or maybe maybe it's intentional, maybe like they reach an area where like you want to scare them, I don't know. But point is, once something happens, amazing, awesome, beautiful, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> now there is a tiny small issue here which is that spamming this actually will not be good right because look if i just start clicking this rapidly yeah yeah <laughs> so what we should do is we should basically find a way to lock this function while it's still running right so let's say i click while it's not running and then you know terminal opens up the sounds begin playing while the sounds are still playing meaning that while the function is still running how do I lock it so that I can't access it again up until it ends, obviously? Well, it's actually very easy. All I gotta do is I just need to make some variable, which I'll just call db for dbounce. I'll set it equal to false. And what I will do here is I will say if db is equal to true, then return end. But by default, it's false. So we have nothing to worry about, right? And then what we do is after we get past all of the checks, right? We will set db equal to true, right? So now it's going to be true. And so now that it's true, this is going to be true. Meaning that if we try to like run this function again, it's going to go here. It's going to be like, is db true? And it will be true because we're still running the function. Then it's like, oh, it's true. Okay, so we're not going to do anything. But obviously it can't be true forever because then we just can't run the function anymore. So once the function is done, then we'll say, okay, then db is equal to false. And if we do it like this, well, then now we can't spam it anymore. There we go. I'm clicking a lot right now. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I'm clicking, I'm spamming. And it's not doing anything. Only after the sounds stop playing, there we go. 
Awesome. And so I guess just for one last time, I'm walking around, I'm a regular player, I'm enjoying this amazing, lovely experience, and then I just happen to maybe find some little exploit that, you know, takes me out of bounds, or maybe just the developer is just trolling me and just has a random timer where, like, I don't know, maybe, like, it just randomly does it for me. But I'm walking, and then out of nowhere, oh, what's going on? I zoom out. Look at that. What is going on? What does this mean? Why is it executing terminal? What, what are those sounds? I need, I need to go check my PC. Oh no, I need to leave the game. Which, now thinking about it, this probably will just cause people to leave your game. Uh, which, uh... <laughs> Uh, this is up to you, bro. I don't know. I also, I also I'm, I'm not sure if this is even allowed in Roblox. Like, I was gonna turn this into, like, an actual playable game, but I made a game previously where, like, you could type something in the chat, and it would, like, execute that as code, and I did it very safely, right? Like, I, I had certain words which are blacklisted, like, you know, not every line of code was allowed to be ran, so I made it in a way where the only real code that you could run was just like changing the color of something or like you know maybe affecting the player or like spawning in parts or whatever and then roblox banned me for one day for making that into a game due to che cheating and exploiting somehow even though it wasn't cheating and exploiting that's literally the whole idea of the game so i don't know what they're on about so yeah i'm not sure if roblox really allows this uh, i'm pretty sure it doesn't but you know if you're a game developer and if you're like looking at this and you're like you know what this is the this will be the greatest addition to my game this this will be literally perfect then you know here you go <laughs> you know where to find the terminal you know what sounds i'm using then you know here's your code uh the sounds that i'm using uh i think this is like windows usb connect and this is windows usb disconnect and as for the terminal you know you could just find whichever one you like i just looked up windows terminal png and yeah you have all the code this is just one local script nothing else and yeah, I'm sure there's a lot more ways that, like, this could be more legit. Like, a small illusion that you could try and make is, like, whenever the player clicks on this, you could have, like, like a bar appear on the top, like, where it says Roblox and it, like, gives you the option to close. Because then it's it makes it seem like Roblox, like, isn't full screen anymore and it's windowed, implying that some other program was started, you know, implying that that's, like, some malicious program. So th there is a lot of, a lot more things that you actually can do to make this, like, seem, you know, scary. Or not even scary, but just like more realistic, which I guess is also scary. So, you know, do leave a comment below. And also, uh, if you want, jo do join my Discord server and do actually like, you know, just showcase uh, like any of your like remixes of this file of this game. Or if you actually like can code and you actually turn those ideas into an actual game, then join my Discord. Uh, I'm active there. A lot of people are active there. So you can, you know, share what you made in the Discord and you'll get some people who say, wow, that's amazing. And then you have some other people calling you slurs. Which is kind of annoying, but, you know, you, you get used to it. And with that being said, I will also say that I do have a course on Roblox Studio. This is just a side thing, You obviously you don't have to buy it. But if you are a beginner and you like my teaching style, and you're like, you know what, I do actually really want to learn coding, and I think that Roblox is, you know, a good place to start, which I do think it is. It's, I would say Roblox is like, it's easy like Scratch, for example, and it also offers a lot of, like, actual potential things that you can do right so it's easy and also has a lot of potential the only downside is that it is roblox so you know do what you will with that but the course is linked in the description and the pinned comment so like i said if you are interested do go check it out and yeah i guess i'll end off this video with um just clicking on this one final time just experiencing it through and through and then you know i guess ending the video beautiful amazing and so as always we are back to basics thank you for watching